Jocelyn from Advent Health Apopka and this is Advent Health TV. Hi everyone, I'm Tom Johnson. Topping this episode, one of our hospitals, the first in the nation, using a new kind of device to help people relearn to walk. Senior videographer Dave Harrison shows you how it works. Keep that posture nice and tight. The float is a three-dimensional body weight overhead support system. Let's reach for a towel with the right hand. Basically, patients can actually go in this harness and they can perform different tasks. Let's put the bowl on the table. So the patient has the ability to freely move in 3D space. Remember when you're turning, focus on the turns without, you know, feeling the fear of falling because they will be fully supported on here. Looks like there's some stuff there. You got a chance to get your balance back. You know, it's just like somebody beside you holding you up. How does this feel? The patients can also bend down in this, they can crouch, they can pick something off, off, off the floor. And the nice thing about this is it also has a sensor where if they feel the velocity of the patient, if they're starting to fall, it'll automatically stop and it'll stop the patient from hitting the floor, basically. I think I'm getting, really getting stronger and better each and every day with, you know, all the practices and everything they're giving me. You seen where you're at without a walker. I also feel very honored to be able to use this machine with patients and to be able to increase their function and get them back home Good. safely because our ultimate goal is for patients to go back home with their families and get discharged safely. Perfect. Our efforts continue to bring high quality whole person care to communities throughout Central Florida. This is the recent Spire ceremony held at the site of the forthcoming Advent Health Claremont ER and Health Park. You can see the spire being put into place high above the site, which is near the intersection of State Road 50 and Citrus Tower Boulevard. The ER expected to open in November, the health park at the beginning of 2022. More team members are on the way. We recently held another mass hiring event to bring on talented new team members. This time we brought people to the world famous Daytona International Speedway. Representatives met job seekers, interviewed them on the spot, and some of them left with job offers in their hands. It's part of our ongoing efforts to staff up. During the recent Delta variant surge, the need for isolation gowns in our hospitals skyrocketed by tens of thousands, and somebody has to fold them before they can be sent to the units. Once again, senior videographer Dave Harrison introduces you to a team member who volunteers her own time folding. Our team was part of the team that put this process together. We determined that there was a, a big need for supporting our laundry facility uh, that was totally overwhelmed. I come in with my family and uh, we fold gowns for a couple hours and then we go on with our Sunday. It's pretty easy. A couple of folds and a roll and you're done. You get into a pretty good routine holding them and so it just the time goes pretty quick. And you know what? Each gown helps. As a nurse looking at, at a box of or a bin of unfolded gowns, it's a little bit uh, disheartening. So seeing them nicely folded, it really is that extra kind of um, piece that says, hey, we care about you. We want to give you everything that you need to, to make it easy for you. It helps to allow me to contribute to our service standard of keep me safe by uh, folding the isolation gowns for those frontline workers, as well as my way of showing love to those same individuals. We are in green status again, um, which may spell the end for this, but we're going to continue as long as it's, it's appreciated and needed. I think it's a great way to be able to give back to our frontline workers and I think it makes a difference. If you're interested in volunteering for any of the opportunities we have across the Central Florida Division, you can email volunteer services at the email address on your screen right now. Now, a first on Advent Health TV. We have a twofer for you in our picture of the week, and they are spectacular. First up, a pick from Jeffrey Straubinger, who's a respiratory care senior manager at Advent Health Orlando. He captured these spectacular shots of a recent nighttime SpaceX rocket launch. You can see the rocket almost looked like a comet at one point as it soared high above the hospital. Now let's take you to the coast for a time-lapsed video view of the same amazing launch. 
This comes to us from Christy Powers in Physician Communications. She grew up in Brevard County and still lives and works from home there. Christy tells us her father and grandfather both worked at Kennedy Space Center, so rocket launches are extra special to her. Wow, just an incredible and otherworldly looking launch there, especially toward the end of this video. Thank you both for sharing. We love sharing your videos and photos, whether it's an inspiring take on our service standards by your team or your super cool work from home setup. Email them to us at adventhealthtv at adventhealth.com. Until next time, stay healthy and feel whole.